everyone, Mike Christopher here today for an unboxing of the Vanguard PH22 pan head. Here's the thing. I already did the unboxing and I thought I was recording the whole thing and my camera did not capture one thing. It didn't record anything. I'm guessing I hit the OK button on the back of the camera instead of the record button. Oops. So this is not a, it's kind of a secondhand unboxing. So when you open it up, the first thing you got inside was uh, the warranty card and you see a key inside. Uh, the key is going to be a backup for me. If you bought a Vanguard tripod, chances are it already came with the toolkit. This is the ABH 100. Um, I'm sorry, the SBH 100. I already did um, a review of this, an unboxing of this, so you can go to my page and see that if you like, and I go over all the the good stuff of this and I actually go over uh, all the tools and what they do as well and how they work. So once you open it up you get uh, your actual pan head that's in there. It's a really nice, it's got smooth movement, um, it's got leveling bubbles on it so you can see. The one thing I like about this, the ball head comes, if you want to remove this plate, the camera plate, you have to push a button well, you have to unlock it. Push a button and slide it and then slide it back on. It's just got that little button. This one has an actual lever that you you have to push a button, unlock the lever, and then it comes up. The other thing I like is this one has a, I'll call it a D-ring for locking so you can grab a hold of it and turn it to lock it. The ball head underneath has a screw. So you either need to carry a quarter or a screwdriver. And I also found using this on my heavier equipment when I use my really heavy lenses with my cameras heavy and everything else, once I kind of get some weight on it, if I want to do a vertical shot, it tend to creep. Now I probably could have got a screwdriver and really cranked that thing down, but I wasn't real comfortable doing that with my expensive camera. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing if this works better. I think it will. Um, just I've had a really good experience with these in the past. So that's just a little something to know. And this is harder. There we go. Maybe. Oh, you have to push down. There's a little lock on it. So once you put it on, you push it down and it uh, releases it and locks it. You also get uh, two handles. They're identical. And you have to insert those like so. And what those do is they lock down your adjustments. So you get them like that. And another one goes down here. So once you get them on, nothing moves. So if you loosen them, then you're able to pan and this one will obviously work for uh, panning around. Um, when I was at uh, Image USA, I was talking to the Vanguard rep and he was telling me what some people do is they, they loosen this so there's just some resistance on it, or actually it'd be this one, for, there's some resistance on it. And then they'll wrap a rubber band on it and pull it so it pans smoothly. I don't know, just something I throw out there. Um, so as far as the key, what the key does is at the bottom, there's a little insert. And this allows you to change it in case you have different size threads and it's not the standard quarter 20. So the key inserts in there and allows you to tighten that and turn it and change it. Now as far as changing the head on the tripod, I also reviewed this in my other video. You need an Allen wrench to do that. And what there is is, I don't know if you can see it in the video. I'll try to move it around slowly so maybe the light will catch it. There's concave machine work in here, kind of dips, so to speak. And so once you screw it on, there's three ball head, I'm not ball head, um, three Allen set screws in here. So you have to use this Allen, kind of get up under there, and they're kind of tight. Let's see if I can get one. So like you can see, there it is in there. So it's a little tight to the edge. 
And you have to sit there and kind of undo it, put it in, undo it, put it in on all three of them to allow you to remove this. And then once you put it back on, you set those Allens back up there and that way it's not going to come undone on you and it's going to stay secure. So not the quickest change in the world for heads. Some heads actually, you know, you just kind of unscrew them and then you put another one on, but uh, um, definitely gives you more sense of security. So that's it. There's the head. It's kind of a quick review. Um, I can't imagine coming up with any problems with this, but if I do, I'll make another video. So I hope you got something out of this. I hope you like it. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and have a great day. Thanks, everyone.